Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a thread in C Sharp. So first thing, open Visual Studio and create one console C Sharp application. Inside your solution, you will find empty projects such as this. And here, what we're going to do is we are going to create our first thread. So we will use thread class and then create one object named th then we call for new and then thread okay now as you can see it will give you this warning bubble so you can fix that by calling for using system threading namespace okay then these warnings will go away however when you are creating a new thread it will require you to add new thread start declaration so new then thread start okay and this class 2 takes one parameter so that parameter usually is the set of functions or one function that you want to run for one thread so let's say I have method name stuff that I want to run so let's create one function name stuff okay so the moment you create it you will find that error for thread start will go away now inside here you can simply write thread one running okay and we are only going to call this when we are creating this thread okay so when I use this th object I have to call start and when I call for start this stuff method will run okay now whenever you're creating any thread related program it's safe to use try and catch block okay now any problem that comes in will be catched with exception so we use console dot write and then output our exception okay now what we did is we created thread class object and then call for this stuff method then we call for this start method to start the thread now let's talk about thread basically thread is a set of process or program that runs along with the multiple other set of processes in your system so one thread will do one task another thread will do another task like this your system is handling multiple tasks okay so each task will have its own thread in your system okay so when we call for this thread it will have its own stuff method to take care of and it will show you that message if you try to print out the running threads within your system through your uh, task manager you will find that in services or within your background applications so each of that background application has one thread running just like that we have this thread created that will also go on top with other applications in background of your system so let's run this code and see how it will run in the background okay it will auto close because we didn't add it console dot read okay so let me add that and execute again as you can see it created a new thread and then it is st starting it with calling for our stuff method and our stuff method has message thread one running okay 
as you can see there is this start method there is also one method named join this method will join your existing thread with set of other threads that you are created or the one that are running in the background similarly there is also one more method which is known as abort so any thread that you are running will be aborted when you call for this abort method okay so let's say you use thread dot slip for 3000 okay so what will happen is when we create this thread then it will call for start then it will join with other thread and finally it will abort okay so after abort you will find that instance of that thread is removed from your set of processes that are running in the thread background okay so let's just run this and find out how it works so as you can see our thread is running and it will run for a particular time let's say 3000 milliseconds after that our thread will be removed from application background okay so what we have seen so far is how to create a thread with thread then object name then new thread and within that the constructor takes your thread start reference which is this stuff method stuff method will simply print out this thread one or whatever message that we are adding then it will sleep for some time okay you can then join it using join method and about it with about method remember that any thread that you create needs to be started with start method so your object dot start method will call this stuff method so this was a short demo on how to create thread in c sharp